to call to order the Finance and Personnel Committee meeting for the City of Monona for Monday, November 7th, 2016. Would the clerk please call the roll? Oh, excuse me. The clerk, Asking for some you. reason, has <laughs> something going on tomorrow and has asked if she could have the night off. So I'm filling in admirably as City Administrator Little, who will now conduct the roll. Alder Wood. Here. Alder Bussey. Here. And Mayor Miller. Here. Is there a motion for approval of the minutes of the October 17th meeting? So move. Second. Motion second. Any corrections or deletions? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The minutes have been approved. There is no one here for the appearances. There is no unfinished business this evening. Under item 6, new business A, consideration of resolution 16-11-2130, approval to fund a high deductible health plan option. Is there a motion for approval? So no discussion. Second. Motion second. Leah Kimmel is here to explain this program. Welcome. Thank you, Mayor Miller. Um, <clears throat> as you know, we've been working with our insurance broker, Hausman Johnson, since last summer on um, health insurance options and renewals. And um, we were lucky to get a great health insurance renewal from Physicians Plus for next year, a negative renewal actually at 4.5%. But in looking at those options, we um, also investigated the possibility of adding a high deductible health plan option. Currently, we offer our employees two different health plan options, both through Physicians Plus. One is an HMO option, and the other is a um, point of service option. And they're very similar plans. The HMO option just requires employees to stay within the Physicians Plus network, mm -hmm. um, and the point of service option allows them to go outside of their network. Um, but the plans are pretty similar. Um, the HMO option, which almost all of our employees um, are enrolled in the HMO option, I think we only have two that are enrolled in the other option. Um, um, if you use the HMO um, plan providers and use that option, there is no deductible. And um, there's a $10 office visit copay and then some copays on drugs. A high deductible health plan option, we um, looked at rates on what it would cost to offer an option like that to our employees. Um, and it would definitely be a lot less expensive as an option to offer. We'd probably save something like 20% on rates over the current HMO option. Um, but I don't know that we'd be able to get anybody to take a high deductible option just with the rates alone. So um, I think that there are a couple reasons why adding a high, deduct a high deductible option makes sense for our employees. Um, we can combine a high deductible health plan option with an HSA or a health savings account, mm -hmm. um, which will allow employees to save extra money in this health savings account for um, out-of-pocket medical expenses. We currently offer our employees a flexible spending account that they can do that with, um, but a flexible spending account, has that money has to be spent in the calendar year and it can't be carried over, um, whereas a health savings account allows you to carry those funds over from year to year. And then you can actually um, take out those funds without a penalty upon retirement. So that's a, a big benefit for a health savings plan. Um, the city obviously would save some money on premiums on this plan, but I think there are groups of employees that would also save money on a high deductible health plan. So I kind of put together. Okay, to guys, to if you can, no, they should punch it up. There you go. Thank you. No, it's turns. The zoom is the knob on the end of that there. So you might want to lift that back right. up. Okay. Now, if you can zoom in. There. So I just took um I took sort of a general um Assumption. Let's say we have a family, an employee who is enrolled in our current HMO family plan, and the employee has eight clinic visits a year. Um, they use two generic drugs every month, a brand name drug every month. Um, 
currently under our HMO option, they would be paying $80 in office visit copays, $240 in generic drug copays, and $600 in um, name brand drug copays. Plus the 10% that they pay of their annual premium, the city pays 90% of the premium, the employee pays 10%. So the 10% of their premium um, at, the, at the 2017 rate of 14 54 61 a month um, is 17 45 53 So their total out-of-pocket medical expenses for that year would be um, over $2,600. Now that same employee, if he or she were enrolled in the high deductible health plan, would have a $3,000 deductible. We're proposing that the city actually pay 75% of that deductible for the employee. So the employee's responsibility on that deductible would be $750. So the first $750 of all of these expenses would go to the deductible and the rest the health plan would pay for in full. So that same employee on, a high de on the high deductible health plan would have a over $500 savings for their medical expenses for that year. And the city, even with funding 75% of the employee's deductible, would save 4% um, on that employee's premiums. What is our per contribution on the HMO? 90%. 90%. So the city is still saving $1,200, over $1,200 um, for that particular employee's health care expenses for the year. So that's why we think it makes sense that this is at least an option that we should be offering employees. It's not going to be something that every employee is going to want, but I think that currently we have probably some employees on our HMO plan that probably are paying more for their health care expenses than they need to. They're paying, you know, a, you know, we're paying a high premium for them. Their, you know, 10% is a, a high premium. And if they're not visiting the doctor much, they're not, you know, they don't have drugs that they have to take, they're paying a lot of money and not getting a lot of service for that. If they had the high deductible health plan, they could actually be saving that deductible and carrying it over from year to year to use when they do have out-of-pocket medical expenses to help pay for those. Okay, questions, Alder Bussey? So the HSA, um, the HMO won't allow that use? No, you have, the HSA has to be in conjunction with a high deductible health plan. So that's the real carrot for the um, That's employee. the real carrot for the employee, absolutely. Because you, you, you can save it at just a, where the other, you have to spend it or lose it. Exactly. And it, it, this program, um, it wouldn't be every, the only thing, it's, it's just an option that we would offer to folks. It's just a third option that we would add um, to our two already added options. Okay. And then, you know, I think healthcare is constantly changing, obviously. Yeah. In the past, when we have had, um, when we've been looking at high rate increases on our HMO and point of service plans, we have been forced to add. Um, we had to add an office visit copay to bring that premium down. We had to increase our drug copays to bring that premium down. So, um, a high deductible plan would also give us a little bit more flexibility when premiums go up in the future, as I'm sure that they will to be able to craft something um, where we can keep our premiums at a reasonable rate by adjusting those deductibles and adjusting, excuse me, the funding. All right. Alder Bussey. So the, the comment you just made, things do change. Mm -hmm. And if we are, the resolution that's here, mm -hmm commits the city to 75% of the deductible. Mm -hmm. Is there a way to craft it so that, I mean, is this going to go on forever? Or is this just for this program year, the, the plan for this contract? Because if this contract changes next year, are we committed to be paying 75% at that time? I would be more comfortable if it was tied to 
A contract. Tied yeah. to the contract year. Okay. Contract year. Okay. It, is it? It it is, isn't it? Is it? Uh, well, we renew our contracts every it, year, so it's an annual renewal. And it's an annual but, renewal. But yes. if the, I mean, we we shop this year. Mm -hmm. The the contract changed. If we do the same thing next year, are we going to be lock, locking ourselves into seventy five percent of the? Um, I'd like to look at yeah, this each and every year. Yeah, let's make sure that we're not. Like an annual look. Look yeah. at it annually. Yeah. 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 So, so how could we? Yep. Absolutely. We have a wordsmith here tonight, with a legal beagle who can help us. Um, cram In terms of policy, Elder Bussy, because this will be the first reading for council, and we could have it come back in two weeks with some wordsmithing. Third. Yeah. Okay, we're yeah, done. Let's do that. Yeah. Sounds okay. good. So the maker and the second. Um, I think I move to table. All right. Second. Motion second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Can I add one more thing yes. just so that you're aware? Certainly, may. Um, we're proposing that we fund the 75% in two annual installments, so half of it at the beginning of the calendar year for employees who are in that in that that option, and half of it in July 1st. I know um, we discussed why was that. The reason that that is is that if we have an employee who has, let's say, a really bad month of January mm -hmm. and they go through their entire deductible um, in one month, they won't yet have that money in their um, health savings account to cover some of those medical expenses. Um, so this would be a way for them to have a little bit of cushion in the event that that would happen. Okay. All right. So we'll see you in two weeks. We'll see you in, in, an, hour. in an hour. <laughs> or less <laughs> and a half hour. Okay. Item 6B is consideration of resolution 16-11-2132 approving a five-year contract with First Student Incorporated for City Transit Services. Is there a motion for approval? So moved. Second. Motion second. Mark? Uh, this is just the contract we approved, the five-year proposal. <clears throat> so we went back. This is just the, the contract with the uh, first student. There was a couple things that um, was, re was requested um, from the Transit Commission to make sure it was inc included in here. One is uh, to make sure that <clears throat> bike, sack, bike racks were going to be included. So that is included in their vehicles under 2.1. Um, all vehicles shall be equipped with bike racks, bike racks in the Dane County, Dane County system with, with the KPA lease of those and such, at least as those in such system operated by the vehicles under the pursuit agreement to this agreement. Um, and they also was uh, added in there to have uh, dispatch there to at least um, supposed to say six so I gotta get that changed it's supposed to be to at least six o'clock on page two under 1.2 level of services so it needs to be updated to six o'clock and the third thing was to make sure there's a description of the buses which was in the so we're, we're gonna change. get this changed yeah we'll have to okay. get that changed and the third thing was to make sure that what was put in the uh, RFP for the the buses were included in the uh, uh, contract. So on page 15, Exhibit B is the vehicle inventory. Um, describes each vehicle that was uh, in the uh, proposal. Um, otherwise, the otherwise the hours and the Revenue hours per rate and smartphone application website was all approved um, with the cost proposal on page five. Okay, do we want to say anything in the motion if we approve this contingent upon the time change? Yes, if you could. Or time change in referencing exhibit B, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so the maker and the second agree yep. that that's part of the motion. Yeah. Yep. All right, further discussion? Hearing none, would the clerk please call the roll? City Administrator Little, please. Alder Wood? Aye. Alder Bussey? Aye. And Mayor Miller? 
Uh, I don't need to vote. Oh, sorry. Not a problem. Stop me from doing that. Yep, exactly. <laughs> I don't want to break my string of never voting. Uh, 6C is consideration of resolution 16-11-2131 is adopting the 2017 operating budget and establishing a tax levy. Do we want to as refer we it to council? Yeah, I think so. a motion to refer it to council and there's a second. second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? It is referred. Item 7 is acceptance of the general fund accounts payable checks dated October 14th through November 3rd, 2016. Mark? Yeah. Uh, thanks. Um, not a lot of stuff in here, but it's going to kind of touch on stuff that we always kind of touch on. But page 2 is our bank card services. Uh, here again is our credit cards that are reimbursed. Um, Do you know on page 3? The yeah. credit card purchased Carnival Depot, a PayPal. We have a PayPal account too, apparently. Yes. And do you know what Carnival Depot is? No, it's, it's for Jake's. For uh, Jake's Fall Fest. Fall, fall Festival. Okay, well, I kind of guess so. All right. Um, page. Next page, page four. Um, Enterprise System Group. That's just our phone system. It's been up and running for a year. It's been working really well for us. Uh, page five, or in the four, going to page five is landmarks, our monthly fuel cost. Excuse me, on the phone, we pay an annual support agreement for our phones? Yes, that's pretty typical. Is it? Yeah. Okay. All right. What do they do for us? What do they do as a service agreement? Uh, they do, uh, well, she work, they usually work with Leah, but they, you know, any service calls or any breakdowns or. Uh, for the phone system, the service agreement. What we get in with this service agreement? Um, we get all the software updates to the software part of the, of the system, and then we get a bank of service hours, um, which we have not had to purchase before because we're in warranty for the whole first year. So that's, a, I think it's a bank of 25 um, service hours that we can carry over if we don't have to extend them. So. Okay. Page four, going to page five again, is landmark or fuel cost. Underneath that, MG&E um, is our monthly uh, electric bills. Um, if you go to page 11, facility concept plus, very last page, um, you know, library window cleaning um, can be kind of pricey. Page 13, kill gus. Uh, here again is the quarterly monthly uh, maintenance for the library and then a little boiler repair for with the library too page 14 a uh, couple things uh, Jefferson fire and safety fire department saws uh, that was part of the capital budget underneath that Johnson tree service um, <coughs> trees um, care that is part of a that's each quarter's um, that's quarter. It's a war. It's one quarter billing for the fourth quarter. One thing um, I don't know where it was, but earlier today when I was going over this, I can't seem to find it right now. But I saw a payment to the East Side Club. Are we a member of the East Side Club? Um, let's take a look at it. I'll, right, I'll try to find it while yeah, you keep going. I figured it out. Uh, page 15, Madison College, that is one of our um, interns for their schooling. Page 16, uh, naturally refined painting, some touch up here down to the library. Um, kind of down 16, our rotor ruler service, sewer cleaning. Page 19, the very top is to carry over from 18, which is our cell phone, monthly cell phone cost. Uh, the very last one is Bill Cole. Um, you can see what he's been working on for us, or his monthly cost. Page 21, um, advanced disposal is a monthly uh, September invoice. Uh, 
that again is going to be going down with the budget for 2017. Is the rebate we're getting, is it consistent with what we had anticipated? For 2016, yes. Uh, 21, uh, on page 21, the very bottom, BACOM, that is our body cameras that we just purchased. Uh, page 23, Nathan Dieter, Dieterich, as part of Renew, Remo, Renew Monona uh, program, was the only one that was issued. Uh, it was really kind of a carryover from 15, um, and finally just paying out. Uh, I did find it's bottom of page 15, Monona East Side Membership Renewal, and I'm just wondering what we get. I mean, I'm glad, I'm happy we support, but I'll have to look into it. It's under April's budget, so I'll have to look into it. Okay. Exactly. I think that might be the chamber membership. I think it just when it comes up under the member. Oh, the vendor, it's Mesbot really and not. Side okay. Chamber of That's that yeah. makes more sense because it, yeah. it seems like a high rate for the East Side Club because no, no, I just I paid my dues there. Uh, okay, you might want to correct that if you. If I think it's it I true. think that's on our invoice. And that's okay. that's what the vendors to be paid to. It All just right. cuts it off maybe. Yeah, uh, page twenty three. Um, Drax underneath uh, Schluter Park is almost officially complete, almost officially completed. Um, underneath that uh, front row, Hoot Hoot Hustle, just t shirts, but it was another successful program in the city. Um, page 26, uh, it's a land tech services, that is our IT services. That's about an average monthly bill. Uh, page 27, Madison Met Sewage District, MS, MSSD. This is one of the things we were talking about last meeting um, at the committee to whole. This is the third quarter service charge. Um, and that's all I have. Questions? Questions? Is there a motion for approval? So moved. Second. Motion second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? General checks, general fund accounts payable checks have been approved. Is there a motion for adjournment? So moved. Second. Motion second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Meeting's adjourned. Thank you.